55 to 23 loss of Tulane on a fourth and two trailing by only eight. The Blazers will call for an illegal substitution resulting in a first down for Tulane. Dilfer was seen yelling at an assistant after the penalty. Stephen A, what's your reaction after seeing this video? And obviously we heard the sound, which we can't play. Incredibly, incredibly embarrassing for Trent Dilfer. You can't be a leader and a head coach and act like that. Um, I won't get into this too heavily, but I'm quite sure RC and Shannon Sharp will 100% agree with me when I say, if that was a brother on the sidelines acting like that as a head coach. Deion Sanders, if that was Coach Prime. If that was Coach Prime, oh, Lord. Uh, I, I mean, uh, it, it would be back page news for days. You'd have people calling for his job or whatever. Personally speaking, I don't know Trent Dilfer that well, but I've always liked him. Um, I've, I, I know he's knowledgeable about the game of football. He's your former teammate, Shannon. Yes, yeah, I know him very well. In 2000, I'm not casting any aspersions on him as a person. I don't know him, okay? I, don't, I know that he used to work here, and I enjoyed the times that I saw him doing his job. All I'm saying is that that is a bad look, bro. And then when you hear the language that he used to talk to those coaches that way, it's actually a fireable offense to, to, in some people's eyes. Not everybody, but in some people's eyes. I would tell you, back-to-back -back state champions as a high school coach was pretty damn good. That's why he ended up getting this job. Yeah. I would tell you also, Chris Mortensen, our very own Chris Mortensen here, his son, I believe, is the offensive coordinator. Okay. Here, but that's yeah. not who he was talking to. I mm -hmm. think he was in a booth or something. But you cannot. He was 44 and 10 in four seasons at a high school coach, Lipscomb Academy High School in Nashville, and he's one and four this season at UAB. Maybe he's feeling some pressure. You just can't do that. I'm not going to excoriate the brother. I'm just going to say you cannot do that. That is a very, very, very bad look. I, yeah, I think. I okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say this. I played with Trent for a year in, in, uh, in Baltimore, and we did win the Super Bowl together. And uh, we've stayed, we've remained in contact since then, so I consider him a friend. But you can't undress your coach like that. Mm -hmm. You can't undress a player like that. Now, in a meeting, if you want to have something to say, some choice words, and I think there's, there, there's still a bridge across uh, the term crossing the Rubicon, a, a place that you can go too far, but don't do that publicly, Trent. I'm disappointed that you would do that publicly because you wouldn't want a coach to do that to you. And yeah. that's a man that you're talking to like that. Yeah. And you're, 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 the obscenities and, 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 and the vulgarity that you're using and, and for the world to see, if they had a problem, yes, nobody wants to get a penalty. But that's a situation where you handle that behind closed doors. I think the young man, I don't know his name. I say young man, but I think the man handled it well. Because there are a lot, bro, you, you can't talk to me like that publicly, bro. Yeah. You, you, hey, hey I, I tell people all the time, RC, or my grandmother gave me everything but life. And she never cursed me. I'm not going to let another man curse me. I don't care how much power you got. How you hire me, you fight, whatever. You got to give me that, my respect. I'm, I'm, I earned it. Now I'm going to get it one way or another. Yeah. And, and, I, I, and, I think, and by the way, his language, we can't, you know it's bad when yeah. we can't we, even repeat. We can't even yeah, bleep the, it what out. Say? Well, and the, the, the other problem is this, though. It's, it's the decorum you're supposed to have when you've earned that position. In earning that position, there's a level of respect that you require yeah. from people around you. Yeah. And in order to get that level of respect back, yep. you have to show it. And yep. I'm going to say this about there's ways that there's things, there's ways that people talk, right? Like I got like I don't curse like that. You know what I mean? Like I just never did. And so if I am in that position and I am speaking to you that way, that means I want to do a certain thing or I'm OK with it happening. When you're speaking to another man that aggressively with those sorts of vulgarities and getting in his face for that other coach to have to have the respect, but to have to behave in a way Restraint. that at yep. your position, you are not behaving, yeah. right? I have to make sure I don't get back in your face. I have to make sure I don't use the same vulgarities with you. I have to respect you. But you've clearly shown not only the players that you're asking me to walk into the room with and command respect from that you don't respect me, but you've shown the entire world. And what's going to happen and what would happen, because I have older kids, is my son would have to ask me, dang, Pop, what's up with that? You told me to never let another man treat me that way. And for him to have to accept that and take that, to me, well, it's unacceptable. The bottom line is this. If you're Trent Dilfer, I hope that you survive at this job because you certainly haven't made yourself attractive yeah. 
for any other program to want to bring you in because this is 2023. That yeah. footage lives. Yeah. Well, yep. they're also, they're also one and four, and I just want to say one thing, and I know you guys didn't mean it in that way, but it's not just to another man. It's to another woman, and it's not just publicly. Yeah, just <laughs> Something. Try to shake away.